Hey there and welcome to Tour Confidential. I'm Ryan Aselta and happy to be joined this week by Golf.com's Alan Bastable and SI senior writer Alan Shipnuck who joins us via Skype. And guys, we're talking today about the Akushnik Company. Of course, that's Titleist and FootJoy, and the company went public this past week and raised quite a bit of money, $329 million. And the company is very positive right now, Alan. The COO saying that the golf industry is a lot more favorable conditions than what many believe. Are you buying what a cushion is kind of selling right now? Yeah, I think so. I mean, listen, at some point, things need to bottom out, right? I mean, obviously, it's been well documented. It's been a, it's been a tough stretch for golf the last you know, certainly in the last five years, you could go back even probably 10, 10 or 12 years. Um, things are starting to correct. Titleist is in a great spot. They're, they're one of the behemoths that, that is left. You know, I liked one of the things that, uh, that David said in that interview was that, you know, there's something like 50 million golfers worldwide. Eight million of those golfers make up about 70% of the spend in the golf industry. And that is what, that, that's the market that Titleist is going after. They've always been sort of an upmarket brand. We know they've dominated the ball market for as long as anybody can remember. Um, they're going to be fine. They've got that loyal audience. It's sort of a traditionalist brand, and I think they're going to be just fine. I think they're in a pretty good position. What about you, Alan? Do you think a company that's really primarily known for their golf balls, not necessarily their clubs, though they manufacture a very high-end golf clubs, and a lot of the tour pros are using them, but a company that's kind of, you know, put their hat behind their golf balls, are they in position to, to keep growing as a company, you think? Sure. I mean, I think the big takeaway from what's happening in the equipment industry right now is that the golf only brands like Titleist have won. You know, when Nike got into the equipment and the golf equipment industry, Adidas, the Callaways and the Titleist and the traditional golf brands were scared to death because these were giant multinational companies that had endless resources, tremendous marketing might. And there was this fear that they're going to wipe out the, the old school golf companies. And now, you know, Nike and, and Adidas are running for the hills, essentially. And Titleist has won. Callaway has won. Um, all all these, these smaller uh, golf-only companies have survived. And I have no doubt that, uh, that Titleist and, and some of these other golf companies are feeling uh, really bullish about, about the, the near and, and kind of... Let me guys ask you this. Uh, do you see a change in strategy coming ahead for Titleist and, you know, a cushion going more into the clothing line, Callaway going more into the clothing line? They haven't really ventured too much. A little bit with FootJoy, but not a ton, Alan. Yeah, I, I, the clothing thing, I don't know, to be honest with you. But, you know, one of the things that uh, the, uh, the Cushnet COO, who did an interview with Golf.com last week, mentioned was the importance of customization. And that we're seeing that across the industry. If you can get uh, customers fit in your gear, that loyalty that I talked about, they're going to feel even more loyal to that brand. You know, they've invested a lot of money. Uh, they've got clubs that obviously are fit for their game, and they feel like, if they can get that customer locked in, whenever that time comes, five, six, ten years later to buy new gear, they're going to go back to Titleist to, uh, to customize. Alan, what do you think about the brand ambassadors? Uh, Titleist obviously has, has some big ones. Jordan Spieth, Jimmy Walker, uh, Justin Thomas. Most tour pros are play, playing Pro Vs. How important is that to the Akushnik company to have those guys using the products week in and week out? It's actually not that important. I mean, Titleist had... You know, at the apex of their popularity, David Duvall, Tiger Woods, Phil Mickelson, they let all those guys walk to, to bigger deals with other companies because at Titleist, the golf ball is the star, not the player. So they're happy to have speed. They're happy to have uh, whoever that they can they can secure earlier in their career at, at a good price. And um, at some point, these guys usually want more money. They want a head-to-toe deal. They want whatever they want. And they just let them go because they, they can always sign somebody else who's going to play their ball. Certainly some interesting times ahead in the golf industry. Okay, that's going to do it for this week's Tour Confidential. For Alan Shipnuck and Alan Bastable, I'm Ryan Aselta. We'll see you next week.